Hey guys and happy summer or is it really a happy summer because it's a crazy 40 degrees outside and I feel like Satan is knocking at my doorstep telling me to stop layering but expect a 30% chance of humidity and a 70% chance of finding out that unexpected parts of your body does sweat Okay, let's style this white shirt If vanilla ice cream was an outfit, this would be it. You can never go wrong with the classic white shirt and denim bottoms, shorts, overalls, you name it, it's gonna work. And you pair them with these flat sandals and an aesthetic netted bag, and I feel like a pretentious Parisian on her way to buy fruits at the local Sunday market. Another way to style this is by buttoning the ends at the back for some skin action, but just enough skin when you're feeling risky. At the same time, you still want to be conservative. Baby steps, dear. Baby steps. For the second outfit, I was going for something more casual. I'm wearing a printed shirt to contrast all the white from the button-down and the skirt, and putting this outfit together are these red mules that matches the red details on my shirt. So right now, I'm not quite sure if I look like a red velvet marshmallow or a marshmallow on her period. Hmm, you decide. I don't know about you, but I feel cool insert emoji wearing sunglasses when I wear street style. Like when Justin Bieber said, swag, swag on you, I felt that. So here's my take on the 90s slash 2000s street style. We got the button down over a white bodysuit with wide baggy pants that weighs a ton. I have no idea why. Baggy and oversized clothing are essential in street style, plus these Nike M2K Technos and the black fanny pack slash belt bag, which makes the whole outfit cohesive. Now please cringe as I squat and do a lot of peace signs in the hopes of becoming a hashtag hype beast. Ah, uh, the model off-duty look. I just switched the tank top with a round neckline shirt, a shirt within a shirt, a shirtception perhaps? For a more relaxed look, I wore these denim mom shorts and kicked the chunky sneakers for some classic converse. If you've been watching my videos, you already know my one and only baguette bag that's basically an every outfit video. Cap off the look by adding a gold necklace and vintage sunglasses to avoid making eye contact with the paparazzi. There's no specific formula for a model off-duty outfit, but essentially, they're just basics that's effortlessly put together. Since button-downs are really versatile, especially for layering, I wore a sweater vest over the button-down. Sticking to the neutral dress code are these high-waisted trousers that's a shade darker than the sweater vest to give it a monochromatic effect. Completing this look are these dark brown loafers which contrast the lightness of the outfit. As narcissistic as it sounds, I do be looking kinda hot in this outfit. I don't know, imagine Timothy Chalamet in Little Women wearing something like this, just disregard it being historically inaccurate while reading The Art of War to you and being all charming. Bruh, no wonder everyone is in love with this boy. Up next, we are dressing like a Prada model. Prada, don't forget to slide into my DMs. Oh well, first you grab an Oxford shirt. The boxier, the better. Mine isn't, but it's okay. I'm not going boxing. Then layer a short black sleeveless dress. Bonus if it's nylon. Well, mine is from Shopee. Find your chunkiest black boots. Fashion is a workout. Throw on some cool black shades. And for a bit more razzle-dazzle, throw in a chunky headband. I don't have one, so now watch me as I struggle for 5 minutes finding out how to wear this baker boy hat while keeping my hair in place. If you happen to be a baker boy in the late 19th century or someone with frizzy hair, please comment down below and help a girl out. Don't forget your black nylon bag and welcome to the Prada Army in Green Hills. Here is a variation of my little women outfit. Technically, it should be woman since I'm a one-man show. But anyway, I just swapped the sweater vest with a regular vest and wore this gingham skirt since the green pattern on the skirt matches with the green vest. For shoes, I went with my go-to white kitten-heeled boots. And there you have it. I look like a cleaner version of Lorelai Gilmore 
but without the ability to speak 500 words per minute. This next outfit I feel like is the only outfit that's summer appropriate in the sense that it's wearable under a burning 40 degrees Celsius heat. I wore these linen paper bag shorts and transformed the button down into a crop top. I thought I could do it without opening it all the way down but I'd be flashing y'all so plan B. With a bandeau inside, gather all the ends of your shirt and tie a knot. Actually, double knot it just to be secure. Tuck the tails from the knot inside the bandeau. It kinda looks messy but trust the process people. For shoes, I wore these mustard wedge sandals for a pop of color and added height. I guess too much height since my head was already cutting in frame. Then accessorized with a rattan bag. I love how this outfit turned out. I can imagine myself wearing this to the beach, sipping some pina colada, not virgin. Wanna see my ID? Totally have it. And eventually realizing after several hours, I'd rather walk barefoot. Taking a modern twist of the Victorian era is layering a corset over a button-down. I paired it with an A-line skirt since the brown pattern on the skirt matches with the brown corset. And dark brown loafers for shoes. I'm really proud of this look and the silhouette of this skirt is so flattering on my body because of how it distinguishes my waist. The neckline of the button-down complements the neckline of the corset and if you think about it, it's a very promising school uniform concept. For some, I don't know, elitist school or something. Don't you think? Just make the skirt longer and have some tights underneath. To describe my final look, it's definitely a lady boss baddie. Same rules apply, I layered a black tube top over the button down with a classic pencil skirt that clearly doesn't have enough fabric to make it office appropriate. A crop blazer because we're trendy like that. And black ankle boots for an edgier look. This skirt is actually a midi skirt. Don't trust me? Let's rewind the tape, shall we? See, you just really have to smooth it up there. Fast forward to the present. If you can't find a crop blazer, thrift a regular one for cheap and crop it yourself so you know how short you want your blazer to end. Realistically speaking though, I don't think you would see anyone wear this in a corporate setting, but I do feel extra powerful and a badass in this outfit. And that's the end of this week's video. I hope you enjoyed my outfits and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hydrate, it's so freaking hot and see you guys next time!